up everybody this is Pap C once again and today I'm bringing you a match of third person domination on sub base um, for the past week or so I've actually been playing uh, a lot more third person uh, team tactical and a lot more hardcore game types uh, mainly for the fact that um, in order to keep this game kinda interesting and kinda fun um, you gotta experiment with the different game types whether you do good or not and uh, I just kind of fall in love with these different game types. They're a lot of fun, and I've been enjoying playing them. So uh, I thought I'd bring that experience to you guys and post a match of me playing um, third person. Now uh, I think I do fairly well for third person. Um, I never really play it, and I never played. I mean, I played the campaign of Gears of War, and I played maybe one match online um, at a friend's house. But other than that, I've never really picked up Gears of War. But uh, so far I really, really like um, these game types, and um, since I never played, True pointed out to me that um, I should put a silencer on my guns because having a red dot or a holographic doesn't really make a difference because it's in third person, and why give away your position when you can hide it? So um, I couldn't really argue with that logic, so I went ahead and agreed with him, and I got a silent M16 here. But uh, I want to talk about uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 because uh, <clears throat> a lot of people have been leaving comments on my videos saying how that game is um, better than Modern Warfare 2. Um, I won't disagree with you in the sense that uh, Bad Company is a pretty good game. Um, there's not too much I can complain about other than uh, the spawning system in uh, Bad Company 2. Um, just gonna argue with the people that say the spawn system in Modern Warfare 2 is fucked up. Um, not as much as in Battlefield Bad Company 2, because as we all know on those maps, they're fucking gigantic. Even compared to Modern Warfare 2, the maps of Battlefield are just enormous. Even you know when you're playing a game like Rush, where they cut the map in fours, the map is still huge. And uh, in order to kind of counteract that, they give you the option to. Uh, spawn in on your teammates and in order to be able to spawn in on your teammates they the teammates have to be in your uh, I don't know if <clears throat> it's in your squad and you create a squad by joining the game with friends um, kind of like in Modern Warfare 2 but um, I just think it's um, an unfair advantage and it gets you killed a lot of the times so, um, I remember when I was playing that uh, I went to go spawn in on True, and True got shot, and then because I chose to spawn in on him, <clears throat> I spawned, like, at the same time he was getting shot, so we both died. And then, um, there was another time where I was just about to, uh, plant the bomb, and the other team, the whole other team basically spawned in on the guy that was defending the bomb in order to kill me. Um, and, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't really think it's, uh, I mean, it's a great idea, but it's not really, uh, it's a big difference in fairness compared to those that uh, don't have a full squad and those that do. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, you can easily still win a game without um, having a full squad. But if you don't have a full squad and um, bad company and you're facing um, not even a full squad, just a team of three or four, you're pretty much fucked. Because the more people you have in your squad in Battlefield, the easier it's gonna be to win but uh and the only reason I decided not to buy it because I just rented the game um, was because the new Medal of Honor is coming out and it's gonna be a Modern Warfare game but the Medal of Honor game is gonna be um, the online is gonna be made by DICE and um, in my opinion um, I'm a big uh, big 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 uh, Medal of Honor fan from PlayStation 2 even though they're like World War One and World War Two games, but I really, really enjoyed the Medal of Honor just campaign for those games. So I figured if the multiplayer is going to be made by the same company, why not stick with something that um, I've had prior experience to and liking? So I'm just going to go ahead and um, wait till the new Medal of Honor comes out, and I'm going to get that game instead of Battlefield Bad Company Two. Um, mainly for the fact because like I said it's gonna be produced by dice the same people that made bad companies so it's not gonna be a <clears throat> entirely big difference 
in the online multiplayer so I'm hoping that will be an experience that I enjoy and it will end up being the right decision if not oh, I didn't make the right one and oh well you can't make the right decision every time I guess but uh I wanna ask you guys a question because I got a great response on the last video where I asked you guys what you felt about KD and all that I mean there's numerous 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 people who responded to that and I used to do this on my channel a lot I'd ask a question every video but kinda ran out of topics cuz it's hard to keep doing that I think I have like 97 videos so I've been talking for a really really long time now but uh what I want to ask you guys is what what are you most excited for about 2010 in um, the gaming world um, I can let you know right now that I mean there's numerous games that are gonna be coming out you know we have Halo Reach we have the new Medal of Honor we have Splinter Cell Conviction we have the uh, Fable 3 we have the new Call of Duty um, and then of course you have Halo Reach and I mean right there that's not even you know I mean we just had Final Fantasy they came out so there's numerous numerous games that are going to be coming out this year that's really exciting but um, I think if I had to choose the one thing that I'm most excited for this year um, I think a lot of you would think it's going to be Halo Reach because um, I've told you before that I'm really excited about that but um, the thing I'm most excited for is if you guys have gone to xbox.com and you've paid attention to E3 and things like that um, you're well aware of Project Tall that's coming out. Um, it's N-A-T-A-L. Um, some of the people working on it call it Natal. Some of them call it Natal. I'm just going to call it Natal because it sounds fancy and I, you know, I feel like when I call it Natal that uh, I should be wearing one of those monocles and eating caviar and playing Monopoly. So, I don't know. I kind of like the Monopoly guy so that's just what I'm going to stick with. But, um, basically what it is is it's a really advanced version of the Wii where you need no controller the whole the controller is you um, their first video of it was this uh, this guy uh, in a fighting game uh, and um, that was really cool but uh, they actually had it on you, you could just go to xbox.com and there'll be a little tab right there on the home page and it'll be uh, the tab will be called project Natal go ahead and click on that and then watch some of the people that get to play of course it's you know famous people like uh, I believe one of the musicians was the game he get to play it um, one of the ladies from Hairspray got to play it and then uh, Jimmy Fallon one of the producers of Xbox that's working on Project Tall, actually took it to um, Jimmy Fallon's show and they all got to play it and um, one of the things I'm really excited for is it's just not gonna be new games that are gonna be able to use this system they're taking the some of the old games and adapting them to work on this too. Um, on that show, they actually played Burnout Paradise. You know, in order to drive the car, you have to use your hands. In order to go fast or slow, you have to use your two feet. You know, one for the gas, one for the brake. Um, I'm not sure because they use the automatic version. Um, I'm not sure. You know, if you choose to drive manually, if you'll have to use your left foot to clutch too. But it's just a very exciting and I'm really looking forward to that um, of course then I don't know I'm just kind of trying to get your guys' opinion on how you uh, what you're looking forward to the most this year um, whether it be a specific game because um, I can tell you the two games that I'm probably the most excited for would be uh, Halo Reach and Fable 3 um, I love the Fable series and then after watching the the Halo Reach um, video that came out like a week ago, whatever, um, literally jizzing my pants like four times in a row. Well, you know, Spart I don't even think, well, they're Spartans, I guess, but they're, you know, flying around shooting people with jetpacks. And, you know, I just had to get a roll of tissue every time I watch it. Watch, watch it. Um, it's just that so fucking cool. But, um. I think if I had to choose the one thing I'm exciting for, it's got to be Project Natal. But I, I'm just looking for your guys' feedback. What do you feel? What are you most excited for this year? What are you looking forward to? But uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about that, what you want to see. And um, I hope you guys did enjoy this um, different you know, style of gameplay being third person. But uh, thanks for staying tuned and being subscribed, guys. Really appreciate it.